penetration and things like that so now I, I have two five seven well I had two five seven even when I had the Ruger um they want to have three of them so trade it got still have two so I got two five sevens that um I could carry on the daily um and it just all depends like you know you train with it you're comfortable shooting it um and people talk about over penetration but you know you don't know what situation you're going to be in when you do have to fire if you had to fire and you know sometimes you need that penetration you know you might have a threat this you know shooting you from shooting at you from behind the door or um you know they have cover and you're worried about you're thinking that it's going to be point blank you know right there and you're worried about over penetration and you know what's behind your target and all that but sometimes you know in a, in a certain situation, they might be behind a car door, they might be behind a dumpster, or something like that, but they're still able to get off rounds at you, and you need to have some way to, you know, protect yourself. So, you know, it's not every situation, but, again, you don't know what situation you're going to be in, even just going on a simple, like, hiking trip or something like that, uh, or just a, a trip to, um, like I said, I was in, in the Smoky Mountains, um, staying in a cabin, and, you know, there's bears around there, so, instead of carrying a rifle, um, you know, I took my 5.7 with me and a shotgun, but, um, but just walking around, you know, taking the trash out, I might need to sting a bear a little bit to, you know, get on back into the cabin, but, you know, uh, to each his own, just whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, if you want to carry a five seven as a daily carry man, carry it, practice with it. Um, you know, always keep it safe, um, and just do what you do. But that's my little spiel on on that. But now to the breakdown. So to uh, field strip the Smith and Wesson five seven. 
you're gonna want to line up where is it? that notch right here with your um, slide stop. So you're empty or clear. And I'm just gonna use uh it's like a red dot uh tool. Yeah, yeah, from a hollow sign. From a hollow sign. Um red dot tool. So we're going to release the slide. Um uh, line that notch up with the slide stop and just punch from the other side. Slide comes out, nice little tug, slide comes off. Got a recoil spring, just like any other. With the threaded barrel, you're going to need to take the thread protector cap off. Slide it forward a little bit. And, yeah. yeah point slide there but this is where the money comes in at so you got a barrel through the barrel but got an inner barrel and an outer barrel and what you're looking at right there is the gas port so when the round fires through this barrel all the pressure and gas will come through that port and it will fill the outer barrel and cause ejection. You know, not that far back, but you know, it'll cause ejection. So um, this is the only gas gas power not power, but whatever. You know, only um gas pistol five seven. Um, so that is different with the Smith and Wesson. And that is something cool. I don't know if that goes into the reliability of it, um, the smoothness of it, because it is it is a smooth shooting gun. Um, it is reliable, fresh out the box, ran, what, 40 plus rounds through it, almost like 40, 45 rounds um, through it, no issues. Um, you know, I was even having issues with my uh, Ruger that I've had for like, you know, two years. Um, and put plenty of rounds through, you know, keep, my, keep everything oil clean. Um, you know, had feed issues the last time I took it to the range and fresh out the box of Smith & Wesson's, you know, flawless. And, you know, my Palmetto, since I've had it, uh, I had that thing. Maybe like six months I've had it, maybe more, maybe less. Um, it hadn't, hadn't failed me at all either. Uh, came out the box, ready to go. Um, the FNs I've shot, you know, they, they've been good. Um, so... I really, I really was interested in how this would work in a pistol, and it seems to work. I like it. I like it a lot, and I'm going to keep on shooting it, keep on um, updating it. I'll probably get a red dot for this. I don't know if I'm going to keep the weapon light that's on it, on it, but, you know, I got a weapon light on it already. Got to find a holster. Um, I'm going to check in the mags on it. Uh, you know, if anybody knows the best red dot for the Smith and Wesson, yeah, put it put it below, comment below. Um, uh, I'm gonna uh, see about getting uh, some other things coming to the channel. Uh, but did want to say that it's been like a year since I started uh, consistently doing uh, YouTube, and uh, you know, I just appreciate all the subscribers I've gotten. Uh, the comments likes, shares everything um and so i'm gonna leave you guys today with just some highlights of you know the year of of youtube for me and i just again appreciate everybody keep doing what you're doing sharing liking and subscribing commenting all right i'm out <laughs> You know this the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the big shot. Can you make it enough?
Cool and Ham with Superman. <laughs> YouTube lab, man. That needs to be the, uh, the little sound bite for me. What are you doing? I originally thought, yeah, he'll eventually run out. And then I looked over and saw the drum, and I had a feeling that uh, I'll be here for a few minutes.